Forever. What makes you think that this can't go on forever? Well, can it? Yes, it certainly can. It always has, and probably always will. How do you turn this thing off? Meaning what? This thing, the whole thing, Norton Street, reality, existence. Of those three, the only real thing you mentioned was Norton Street, and it's only as real as a video game is real. Which means it's actually all in the mind. So what you're saying is that it's all in my mind? No, it's all in the computer's mind, and the computer is all in your mind. In other words, your mind projected the computer which is the particular mind in which it all is at the moment. So what you're saying is that this whole thing sprang out of my own shining intellect? Yes, that's it exactly. And that I programmed the computer? I don't know anything about programming. The only thing I know how to do is type on a keyboard, make a website, make some cool kick-ass video game levels, and post a bunch of viral videos on YouTube. That's actually all you'll ever need to know. The programmers are part of your shining intellect projection we call Norton Street. You sort of built it from inside out. This brain is too small to think with. Can't you take this body off me? Not really. No, it's not an organic body. It's a body of habits. The body of habits contains all your tendencies. You can't take it off and it can never die. Gosh, that's the worst news I've ever had. Listen, Bornless, I can't do it for myself either. I'd love to take off my own body of habits and feel free from my metaprogramming too. Believe me, my skin is just as much too tight for me as your skin is too tight to you. The skin is getting tighter. I feel as if I were stuffed into a wetsuit the size is too small. It feels puffy and bloated and the electrical field is giving me pins and needles. Yep, yeah, that describes my condition as well. Why am I the only one who has to suffer like this? Clearly you missed my personal report several seconds ago. Didn't you hear me say that the same thing is happening to me? Yes, that matches my experience. Mine as well. See? We're all in this together. Where do you think we came from? You think we're some of the early settlers? I was watching a video on YouTube every day, and one day I woke up permanently, and found myself here on Norton Street, and ever since then I've managed to stay here. I was on Meta Cafe and suddenly I came here. After lots of viewings of Norton Street I was able to remain here quite easily. CO Bornless One. You're very much not alone here. Well, sort of not alone, while at the same time being, as is your nature, absolutely totally and forever alone. What? Sorry. I missed what you said there. I seem to have dozed off for a moment. I feel like I'm burning up inside. Like I've been put together wrong or something. The assembly looks okay from here. Heads on top, feet down below. I feel as if I'm going to faint again. This body keeps dying on me. They have a tendency to do that after a while. Parts wear out, self-replication fails eventually. Happens to all bodies except the higher ones, like the one you've popped into here on Norton Street. You mean I'm sort of astral traveling? In a way, except you came up through the dimensions instead of staying in your home world and flying around there. So what you're saying is that this is where I come after I die? Yes, that's right. This is where you spend some of your bardo. Bardo? The bardo is the between lives state. It's what happens to you between organic lifetimes. There are three stages of bardo running. The first was the clear light. That's Norton Street. You're in the clear light now. If for some pathetic reason you are unable to remain in the clear light, you'll eventually find yourself unconsciously rummaging around in the fridge groping for some treats, and you might very well start thinking about taking a bath. Eventually you will find yourself outside on the streets running around Bardo Town seeking refuge from the terrifyingly haunting visions that are chasing you. That will be the second Bardo. It can't be worse than this. I feel as if I'm dying over and over. The third Bardo will be when you run into a lot of couples on spring break trying to get a heads up on self-replication. In short, you'll feel the urge to breed, couple. You know, screw. I can't seem to stay alive for more than a moment at a time. Who among us can? None of us lives for more than one breath. The secret is in the moment between the out-breath and the in-breath. What about the moment between the in-breath and the out-breath? What about it? I want help so I can learn to stay here at Northern Street without fear and suffering. So do we. We can help each other, but nobody, not even you oh bornless one, who is the one doing all this, knows all the answers. Life after life it's just been a dream. I've never left this room. I've lived countless lives and yet I've never left this room. That's true. But thanks to your desktop computer, and your god engine and editor you can create worlds, to go into and place friends inside them as companions. 
It's not the same as actually being there. No, it's not, but it's the best we can do at the moment to make it seem as if you're not alone. Going all the way down into the mud and then over the mill and I'm slowly but surely working my way back here from single cell organisms all the way to complex ones like this primate pipe that I'm wearing at the moment, just so I can jump into some other object and do it all over again. It doesn't make any sense. Well, would you rather play alone in an empty level? Mumber, I don't want to play alone in an empty level. I like to play it on a team. I really like Capture the Flag. So why don't we play a bit of Team Fortress for a while? I'll get on my desktop in the guest bedroom. Me too. I'll get on the desktop in the master bedroom. How many times has this happened before? Who are you guys really? Who are we really? Would you actually like to find out who we really are? Well, now that you put it that way, I'm not all that sure I want to know. Will the bornless one find out who has companions on Norton Street really are? Will the bornless one ever learn to handle the reactions to the waking state? Will the bornless one find a sandwich in the fridge only to find himself staring up at himself? Tune into the next Minnesota of Norton Street to find out about this and other exotic details. And be sure to tell all your friends to come to Norton Street, and while they're at it, they could also subscribe to this channel. Come with me, come to Norton Street, come to Norton Street, where we'll be at our feet. And we can't get eat here on Norton Street. Norton Street, here we can't get eat on Norton Street.